It's a little bit of this and a little bit of that. And to be honest with you, it's a whole lot more than that. Because for the last 37 years, it's been creating memories for young and old alike as the Department of Parks, Recreation and Tourism has proudly delivered a Newport News October tradition that creatively mixes the sheer beauty and spirit of fall with plenty of crafts, food, music, and everything else to do with folk life for the Newport News Fall Festival of Folk Life in beautiful Newport News Park. Go to the country for the day you stop and see a little bear play. Should you take that little bear home? This is the 37th annual Newport News Fall Festival of Folk Life. This is the granddaddy of all the festivals in Newport News, and it was another beautiful, beautiful day. Jumbo fry. Thank, Thank you. you. You have a great day. This festival is really different from a lot of events around. We'll thin it down. <laughs> we have demonstrating crafts and trades, over 250 different kinds of crafts and booths, uh, exhibits, all kinds of people selling and demonstrating, and it's educational, historical, lots of entertainment, three different stages of entertainment. And once it stops bouncing around in your hand, it's centered? Well, it's really interesting to see some of the crafts from the raw materials, and they'll show you the different stages it takes, whether it's pottery or quilting, knitting. And they're just things that you don't see all the time. And it's nice to take a step back in time and, and see these heritage type crafts and trades. I've been here probably about 20 years. It's great, we look forward to it every year. Actually, it's the only big show that I do. A lot of these type of crafts are a dying art. And so I think it's important people know, you know how it operates. And um, you know, it's, a, it's an art form that's still available if there's an interest there. A lot of people don't understand the detail of a loom and that, you know, for example, this piece I'm working on right here has 400 threads across. So that's quite mind-boggling to some people that I could string on five yards, 400 threads to each, each um, thread and, uh, and then come up with product. Newport News really likes to showcase this park. Uh, Newport News Park is uh, one in a million, really. It's one of the largest parks east of the Mississippi River, municipal parks. And it's really nice to show off this time of year all the different attributes. And uh, the weather is really cooperating. It, it feels good this time of year. We like to have this venue to show off these different kinds of activities. It's really a gem in the park system in Newport News. And we don't mind showing off a little to Hampton Roads and, and the region. We draw people from Richmond down to the Outer Banks to this festival and crafters from all over the East Coast. So it, it's really a, a nice gem in the system. Oh, it's great. I love, love uh, the weather's great and we're just uh, spending some quality time, so. It's kind of hectic, so just to be able to kind of slow down and just go out and enjoy all the, the crafts and uh, the beautiful weather in a, in a nice, shaded, beautiful park. It's, it's a good time. Well, that's about all the time we have for you this month. We hope you've enjoyed this edition of Newport News in Review, as we've taken you under the lights of the very iconic John B. Todd Stadium, and greater yet, revealed the man behind the very famous name. And as always, on behalf of everyone here at Newport News TV, whether you're watching us on TV or online at nngov.com, Facebook, or YouTube, thanks for watching. And we'll see you here real soon for the November edition of Newport News in Review, right here on Newport News Television.